you know, and, and you know how those can, you know, you've seen how the situations can kind of get in touchy at times and you can imagine uh, adding other people into the mix and it can, it can change. So having people who can point things out without being personal about them is, is a huge benefit. Um, but, but it also means that everybody, and I do mean everybody, has to learn to keep the jokes, the comments, and, and all that shit in check. Um, when, when we, if and when, and I'm pretty sure it's a major towards when rather than if, if and when we do get into some serious PvP, though, those who are involved, um, they'll, they'll have to understand that you know, nothing negative can be said about our team during those fights. Nothing negative whatsoever. If you have a comment to make, you better may it, learn how to say it positively or you'll get muted in a hurry. And muted is the nice way of dealing with it because normally I'm a dick when it concerns that shit because I just I cannot have... Yeah, I just don't it'd have really be a best for... if, if I don't get in there with PvP just the way I am with it. When I did do any sort of PvP, it was more of a drill instructor than anything. Well, that's just it. Yeah. We need those. We do. See, that, that, that's what, what people don't understand is that we need people positive. who... I, I know, but that's just it. There, there are times for both, right? For example, that same drill instructor, when he goes off to war with his group of men, as he is supposed to do, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't belittle his men in the middle of combat because it you know, it diminishes their capacity for being a good soldier because they're now thinking about what he said rather than thinking about the enemy. And so a good drill sergeant knows not to do that shit then. You do it whenever it's appropriate. So um, the thing is, is that everybody has a, has a place. And a guild that has, and especially with a game that is so wide open and has so many different options as this one does, there is a there is a spot for everybody, whether it's PvP or not. There's always a spot for people, and uh, it's just a matter of finding out what you're good at and where you're going to fit in. Um, a a fighting group has to have absolute confidence in each other, which is why the whole no negativity thing. But keep in mind that that goes, that's for in the middle of combat mostly. You know, you can't have that in the middle of combat at all because the demoralization factor. But outside of combat, some of that negativity is extremely healthy because, you know, it gets people to, to know the difference between, haha, look, you fucked up, between motherfucker, what is wrong with you doing that in the middle of, you see what I mean? And, and sometimes they need to know that, you know, they need to know the severity difference. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think the only thing I'd be good at with the PvP and Matter of fact, I won't even say it. I think I, I know I'd be good at it. Was is the strategy side, not the fighting. Unfortunately, but the only problem with that is, is that to be a good fighter or to be a good strategist, you have to be out there on the field with the men to see. Well, what not they necessarily. See. Uh, having a better view of the battlefield usually helps. It's Usually, if you're in the crowd, you can't really see what's going on on the outsides. Well, at the same time, if you're on the outside, you can't really see what's going on on the inside. Therefore, communication. So, there's a tactician. This is the sergeant on the field who realizes that he has a job to get done. He has orders on high for what he's supposed to do, but it's up to him as to how to get it done because he sees things on the ground differently. Then oh, there's yeah. the strategist who sits back and looks at maps and watches the battle from on high and directs troops and, and supplies and things of that nature. And strategy and tactics, of course, are a great deal different from one another. Um, they seem similar, but they're not. People who have the skills of one rarely ever have the skills of both. It's the tacticians who uh, who tend to be the ones that uh, stand out, I guess you could say, when it concerns uh, being the hero well, yeah. or, or coming up with the things. Because they, they have to think see. a lot quicker than normal people. Well, they're the ones dealing with the with the combat, right? 
Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. You know, you, you they're fighting and at the same time. They have to pay attention to the surroundings. Strategy, however, tends to go out the window the moment the first shot is fired. Well, this is somewhat true. That's why preparation is such a key. If if you know, it's you know, good good advice from your welding instructors. If you want a good weld, you prepare. And that goes for pretty much anything in the world. You want something done right. You want something done well. Preparation. If you can prepare enough at a time, not too much, but enough. Most of the time, your, your strategies go pretty well. Um. Now, I know it's not exactly actual wartime, but I mean, for good, actually going on 15 years, fuck, I, I played, I, I do a lot of military simulation airsoft, and a lot of times I was stuck in leadership roles. I usually do fucking amazing because I don't think That's of it as a, well, I mean, when I mean leadership roles, I mean fucking company leaders instead of, you know, a fire team leader or a squad leader. And squad leaders and fire team leaders, I see those guys as more of a tactician. Um, because they have to direct their fire team and their squad, uh, their squad mates. Um, and then stra- tactician gets orders from the strategies, whoever is above them, basically. Basically, big old chain of command. The strategist gives out very vague uh, commands, whereas the tactician gets very specific. The strategist knows you need to take that hill, and so he orders it to be taken. The tactician is one who determines how it gets taken. Same time, in, in PvP in this game, it's nowhere near the scales um, I don't care what everybody says. <laughs> Nowhere near the scales of it, it, some of the middle sim games that I played. I'll be right back with that. Thought. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. The biggest game that I done was a Milson game out in Texas. Um, each side had thirty five hundred players. It was a humongous game, and I've never seen anything on that scale. And being the fact that there's less people and less uh, less of a shorter chain of command. It allows for the strategist to, instead of making those vague commands, get a bit more specific. It's not his job. Be it or not, that's that's just the way I see it. It doesn't matter. You do the job that you're assigned to you. You can't go out of your way to do somebody else's job, even if you're better at it. That's not how it works. I guess I just if you're better at it, PvP you should then. be put in that position. You see, no matter, not really. In, in small PvP time anyways. PvP, you don't have a strategist. You don't need one. When you're talking about just fighting out there. There's no goals. There's no none of that. Strategist doesn't even come in the picture then. You see. Strategists will only come into play in this game, in Node Wars.
tacticians kind of go out the window and no board. Don't know if strategist, it wasn't the exact strategist, general term. 